Howdy everyone, I'm Mokog, welcome to Hex Center. Today with the Five Shards crew, we're going to be taking a look at Shin Hair and how we can characterize these wonderfully cute bunnies who happen to have a very dual nature. How does Hex do this with using only art, flavor text, and playstyle? So let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. So one of the things we notice about the cute bunnies and their style is that they have a very unique style in Hex. In Hex, they have an almost uh, a cartoony aspect to them. Many of the cards have pastel type colors. Sometimes they are running very much in the greens and the reds. They often carry the Asian theme. In addition to that, you can also get a very happy and pleasant vibe from some of the cards. This, when you look at some of the cards related to Shin Hair, we find that it is almost pleasant, like they are a part of nature, like it's something natural and that they are a very happy and wonderful type of race. But when we take a look at the other side of Shin Hair, the much darker side of Shin Hair, we find that things can be much more brutal, uh, much more dark. And a great one to use this for is like the Shin Hair Eulogist. This one takes advantage of whenever another Shin Hair dies, but is doing so through the use of blood magic which is sucking out the life force of their fellow Shin Hair. There are wonderful story reasons for how all of this comes about, but I think another side that is really a great example of art working with card mechanics as metaphor is Hop Hero Samurai. So a card like this has the cute bunny aspect. It's a samurai bunny. This is this character specifically is unique amongst all of the Shin Hair, is a, you know, an easy to cast creature. And when we take a look at the abilities, it's a one cost troop. It comes in with one attack, one defense, but it has this ability to sacrifice another troop and then do an effect on an opposing or even one of your own troops if you desire. But essentially you are sacrificing a troop for a benefit. And then it has a secondary effect that whenever you sacrifice through your more, or whenever you sacrifice three or more troops, this turns and transforms into another version, Hop Hero Elite Samurai. So all of a sudden we see a power up. So this is already telling us a story that as Hop Hero pushes through and uses other troops to advance his abilities, he gets stronger and his ability gets stronger. And now all of a sudden instead of doing minus one, minus zero, he's now doing minus one, minus one. So now he can start performing some removal. And then if he does this again, he uh, can turn into the Hop Hero Samurai Warlord. So all of a sudden we've seen Hop Hero the Samurai using card interactions to transform itself into Hop Hero Samurai Warlord. So this is already telling an interesting story in that Shin Hair use other troops and use other Shin Hair more specifically in many cases to advance themselves. And we see now that not only once we advance to this final card form, we still we get the most powerful version of its effect. In addition to that, we also now have unlocked the flavor text. And this gives us another really good sense because the katanas of samurai warlords such as Hop Hero are infused with the souls of those who are sacrificed to feed their power. And I think this is a significant contrast. So when we take a look at the original Hop Hero, we see that he was just another samurai. But through sacrificing others, he attains power. And this actually gives you a great characterization of what Shin Hair really can be. So there's one side of Shin Hair that is about growth and multiplying and birth. But that side of it also means that there is a lot of fodder and that fodder is used for the other side of the Shin Hair, which is much, uh, very much about control and sacrifice and stepping over others. And where the, the wild side of the Shin Hair is very much about how a single Shin Hair can change the battlefield. The other side of Shin Hair is that only the single Shin Hair matter on the battlefield. And I think this type of juxtaposition is a really excellent example of how Hex utilizes all aspects of a card to tell a story. Hex will take the name, understand that the casting cost, the attack, and the defense are part of telling the story. That what it means to be a Bucktooth Roshi in this case, what it means to be a Shin Hair Mage, that all of these come together 
that the flavor text and the art and the consistency in being able to keep true to that race within Entrath means so much when you don't have uh, the same types of interactions that uh, other digital media can provide. Hex is a great example of utilizing card mechanic as metaphor, card mechanics as storytelling. And the Shin Hair are a great example of being able to express that in a duality standpoint. And I think this makes Hex one of the more outstanding and intriguing world setups to put a uh, digital trading card game with the robustness and interactivity that it expresses. Uh, if you would like more of these videos, go ahead and leave a comment in the doobly-doo. Uh, also comment on the Five Shard site. They are uh, great people and have so many articles, uh, everything from decks to events to podcasts. Check everything out on the site. And as always, I'm Mokog, and this is Hex Center.